you ready for some football? Yeah! All right. Hey there, I'm Jane. You know, the big game is just days away, and you don't even have to know who's playing to score big with your fans. So get in on the action with these DIY ideas to make sure your buffet table is ready for the super matchup. Okay, let's start with the basis. We need the gridiron. Oh yeah, your tablecloth. This is just two yards of utility fabric. You can use AstroTurf, you can use a blanket, you can use some leftover material you may have laying around at the house. But whatever you do, two yards, cover the table, and make sure you make the yard line markers. And I've used tape to do that. You can use crafting tape, you can use athletic tape, uh, any kind of tape you have laying around the house just to make those markers. And of course, you're going to need your yard line numbers. Easy to do when you have the tattered lace number dies. I've just die cut those numbers using my crossover machine and some foiled paper. And there you have it. You've got your yard line numbers perfect for any football field. Of course, you want to decorate some of that food. Your fans are going to get hungry. So of course, I've taken my cocktail toothpicks and added a little flair. I die cut some stars on them and then gold foiled them using my Tata machine. Ooh, that looks delicious. Of course, no football field is complete without your goal post. So here you have it, your goal posts. They're not only beautiful as part of your table decoration, but they are also very functional. I have used old wrapping paper tubes, covered them in yellow paper, and then added them to a brown paper bag. And guess what? This end zone is going to see a lot of touchdowns, especially with the treats in the corner. And no game. You can't have football without your referees. And of course, you can't eat without utensils. So what are you going to put your utensils in? These awesome referee containers. I've just used empty cans. Cans that I opened up with beans and tomatoes to make my chili. Wash them out, cover them with white paper, and then I used my paper trimmer to create perfect stripes just to add to the sides of my can. How about that? Easy and so appropriate for your game day table. And guess what? There's going to be a flag on the play. So let's make some flag on the play tasty treats for your kids to take away. Now what you're going to do is get some old fabric scraps. Maybe if you're a quilter, you just have leftover fat corners. Doesn't matter. They don't have to be serged or stitched. Just get some fa fabric scraps, cut them into a square, add your treats, and you're going to just wrap it up super easy to do. Tie it up with your twine. And this is a great addition to any tablescape. I think that is a 10-yard penalty. OK, and then next, your guests will need something to eat out of. So let's create your football snack sacks. Easy to do when you have your tattered lace charisma dies. Yes, the charisma dies the largest size. Kind of looks like a football. But we just need to do a little shaping here, and that's just fine. I've cut out, out of brown paper, and you're going to just cut away the corners to create a football shape. There you go. And you're going to round those out a little bit. And then you're going to take your crocodile or your hole punch, whatever you have, and cut out a couple of hole punches here. Get your friends, get your family involved. Maybe everybody makes their own snack packs before the game. Uh, easy to do. Now let's just take that twine that you used and you have left over. You're going to lace it up. Of course, it's a football. you got to make laces. There you go. And we've got one more to do, and we could tie off the edges. Okay, there we go. Once you get that all laced up, you're just going to want to tie off the edges so it doesn't get unlaced or deflated while you're eating your snacks. So quickly lace this up, tie it up and secure it, trim the edges, take your white marker and draw some laces just to have a little bit of detail and your print, there you go, and your white laces on your football and your snack pack is complete. Everybody will want one of these. All right, there you have it, a super table for a Super Bowl game day party. It's easy, it's cost effective, and you know what? That 
is a big win. So enjoy your celebration dance and keep it right here at createandcraft.com for more DIY ideas.